many times in my life uh, i was asked a question uh, whether do we have to concentrate on the personal development of an individual well my answer is very simple if an individual is developed personally then in turn he will develop other individuals personality and in turn that individual will develop uh, the next one and so on and so on finally the whole society will develop this is not merely my concept this is a concept from uh, uh, many leaders that's why we have classes like personality development the personality development classes nowadays uh, they teach how to uh, walk in interviews or otherwise how to uh, improve our body language uh, many more but the actual personality development is not that one uh, the personality development in itself means development personally so how an individual will be developed personally that is the question what exactly he has to develop in person he has to develop in person his uh, uh, values in all aspects that is what our leader says so uh, let us see the factors why we should concentrate on the individual development because an individual is the sample of the society nowadays nowadays we talk about america even without being being in america even without uh, we we would not have gone to america at all but still we talk about america because we have some samples through the entertainment channels or movies uh, only that but we don't know what is the exact uh, um, uh, normal common man of america does or what the value he have okay but we feel what we see in the movie or what we see in the uh, tv is the sample that's why we call an any individual is the sample of the society then building up the individual personality in terms of build up the society um when i was doing my lecture job uh i have implied lot of this aspect building up an individual any individual so an individual has to be brought up in all his values the moral values the ethical values uh, the technical uh, aspects of him the uh, economical aspects of him uh, that should be the guidelines what a, a, a faculty can give for them uh, uh, that is the thing i have done exactly because building up an individual personally in turn builds up the society because an individual is not a single person because two or three individuals together form a community or more the community forms the society the society forms the nation the nation forms the whole world the whole world for the humanity form the humanity so uh it is a chain process an individual's mind if it is cultivated properly then the perfected individual minds serves as a power to the nation and the whole humanity it is for the whole humanity that is what the exact thing i wanted from each and every individual i taught and now i am uh saying those things to the whole world a big uh, individual development uh, the concentration on the individual development is only for this if we concentrate on developing this individual mind individual minds personally then we are sure we will be having a very healthy environment very healthy human environment in this world without any violence without any sexual abuse or without any um the immorality or unethical values whatever it is we can say so what exactly is happening with the individual minds nowadays the society is impure almost 
because the evolution is like that what exactly the people do how to say their common implications of this the whole society is doing mistake so as i why i have to bother because my friends do the mistake everybody is doing mistake why you are pointing me alone no i am pointing each and everybody i am pointing each and every individual okay so um there is no point in saying the whole society is doing mistake if you are doing mistake then others also when others also do mistake the whole society makes mistake in the whole society makes mistake the nation makes mistake the nation makes mistake the whole humanity makes mistake so it is again a chain process so you cannot um point out others for your own mistakes the mistakes are happening because of your individual self and the other implication an individual can say is nobody is perfect in this world i agree nobody is perfect in this world but still i have a concept like always from our schools we have been taught above 60 percentage is a distinction distinction means it is it distinguishes you from others that is the thing nobody is perfect but above 60 percentage is always a distinction it differentiate you from the others so uh, it should be for each and every individual it is must for each, each and every individual to be unique in their aspect that is what i have to say then another thing another common conception is there uh, i am what i am who are you to ask what man this is exactly he, he, a, a point which we cannot justify at all how you can say i am what i am a dog is always a dog it has its own quality it don't have any sixth sense to decide or to think rationally and to think whether it has to improve its quality or what but the human have that one human have that tendency then how you people can uh, ask or otherwise how the people are justifying this particular fact that i am what i am who are you to ask it is not my question each and every common man is asking why people or other people are doing mistake why i am doing mistake how much of people are asking asking the fact that why i am doing mistake what mistake i am doing in my life so this is the point where we have to concentrate we are having the sixth sense the th- the sense of thinking rationally to improve ourselves not to improve the violence not to improve the any other immoral aspects but to improve rationally to develop in human self that is what the difference difference between the animals and the human beings and because of this sixth sense the human beings are suffering like anything to uh, without able to distinguish himself from humanity and the divinity and finally with animals too so uh, these are the points of escapism these are the points of uh, what just like that philosophy just this this has to be wiped off from the human minds uh, so that uh, he has to become pure human and how it will be the exact point in this slide what i have is uh, uh, the reasons why these human beings are having those three escaping implications in their life one is the doctrines and dogmas which have been taught to us from time to time traditionally from younger age onwards we have been taught some um, taught with moral sense taught with uh, uh, something something panchatantra stories jataka tales or otherwise the fairy tales uh, which always imply something moral and finally when we come up we find that it has been interested on us it has been 
pressed on us, but our individual mind uh, is uh, not willing to accept those pressures. So the doctrines and dogmas are simply theoretical. It is theoretical. It is not being practical. And uh, the people are trying to press it or simply put it into the human mindset. Then comes the role of the vital agencies, family, school and society. The family almost fails to impart the right knowledge to, the, to an individual. Nowadays it's happening more. The school, the education system have, is full of flaws and errors. And again it fails. Society, as I said before, yes, society is doing mistake. Yes, society is uh, in itself is making lot of blunders. That's why that cousin, the whole society is making mistake. So as I, that cousin rises out. Finally, all of these reasons fails to mold the individual mind. A shaping up of individual mind is needed, but it is not happening. It is not happening through the religious doctrines or religious dogmas. It is not happening uh, in any motivational or personality development classes. It is not happening in a family. It is not happening anywhere in this world. This must happen where, you know, it has to happen from the inner self. Self-realization is exactly needed for a human being to be for his own development, for the development of the whole society, for the development of this whole humanity. One must be true in his virtue. Virtue, the meaning of virtue is uh, uh, doing what is right and avoiding what is wrong. A man is having his sixth sense to think rationally, to think what is right to what is wrong. But nowadays, violence is being taught as right goodness, behaving uh, immorally in sexual aspects has been taught right by the friends and the society. And that gives the pleasure. But an individual self, when he realizes his self, when he realizes his inner mind, his journey towards the inner mind, which connects himself with the divinity, then finally he will be true in his virtue and that particular individual must be capable to define it himself in a moral and ethical way. That is more important. A human without moral and ethical is none other than an animal. So he or she must be capable to define it himself in a moral and ethical way. Sometimes this will be hard to accept for human beings, but this is the truth. This is the way of living. This is the way of proper living. Any human, any animal can live, but human have to live properly. That is very important. That is the pure humanity. And I define it over here. A capable, constructive personality is one which or one who is uninfluenced or uncontaminated by the society. There is no cousin of saying, there is no cousin of saying like uh, uh, the others are doing the wrong, so I am doing wrong. No. You be an example for others. Don't be a false example for anybody. Be a true example. Be a good example for others. If 10 persons are learning from you today, then it will turn to 100 tomorrow. 100 will turn to 1000. 1000 will turn to millions in the future world. So you are conserving humanity over there. I call it human conservation. So a capable constructive personality is one who is uninfluenced or uncontaminated by the society, never bother about the society at all. Because you are one among the society and it is you I remember a proverb you be the change you wish to see 
don't blame the society don't blame others you become that society you become that others that is more important when every individual cultivates this kind of thought and molds his or her mind the purification of the self as well as the society is done this is what i am saying in this slide the individual when he cultivates this kind of thought that if he feels that i am part of the society if he feels i am responsible for the development of the society if he feels that i am responsible for the development of the nation then comes this kind of shaping of of mind then it leads to all other kind of advancements that is uh, technological economical political whatever you call this comes on their way so it is a uh, must for a person to develop in his or her individual self we must be surely bothered about a personal being then automatically it paves the path for all other kind of advancements